Hello. Evie and I, hello, have met a very interesting gentleman called Hamish. Matt Gillivray. Very posh. Could you tell us something about where I am walking with Evie? Uh, you're today? heading to the Cowdery Park ruins and they sort of uh, come from the Tudor period and it started by Sir, uh, built first by Sir Anthony Brown and then it was bought by Sir William Fitzwilliam who was best buddies with Henry VIII and Henry VIII visited here, visited here at least two or three times uh, to go deer hunting and then later on his daughter Elizabeth I came here as well to go deer hunting and then later on it became a lot of uh, intrigue here because of uh, oh, one of its so servants good. here was a certain Guy Fawkes. Not the Guy Fawkes. The Guy Fawkes, yeah, and unfortunately his employer at the time, the, the Viscount Brown, was arrested for conspiracy of, of possible knowledge of the 5th November gunpowder plot. He managed to escape with a big hefty fine, but ever since then that family were basically sort of tarred with a, sort of a, not a good sort of image with the, the royal family there. It also became basically a base for the Roundheads during the Civil War as well. 1.130 Roundheads were there. They basically just took apart Cowdery Park and it didn't really survive until sort of the early 18th century. And then unfortunately in 1793 there was a massive fire on the kind of the left hand side on the north wing as it's called there, so. uh, which burnt down most of the property. And for a hundred years after that it was just left in ruins, but it became like a gothic favourite for artists, writers, and later on for day trippers coming down from London on the new uh, Midhurst railway station. And then just recently, about 10 years ago, it was restored thanks to a Heritage Lottery grant. So you can oh, go good. down there at certain times, um, and normally the weekends during the summer season, but sometimes there are many festivals and things like that there as well. And then you've got the beautiful village of Midhurst to visit with all its amazing cafes and bars and hotels. Yeah, and um, you're very, very knowledgeable on the history of this um, property. Uh, is there a reason for that? Uh, I'm, I'm being asked to do a bit of work 